This video will give you an introduction to programming the microbit using make code blocks. I'll walk through an example of displaying a heart on the screen of the microbit, make it flash on and off, um, and then we'll limit the number of times it flashes to five. Then finally, we'll create an event trigger to make the heart flash. There's a companion blog post that contains more detailed content to go along with this video. It has information for using this project in a classroom, including information for beginning coders and links to the next generation science standards. You can find the blog post at the link below. Uh, let's get started with the project. Go to makecode.com and click on the micro bit in the left corner of the window. Click on new project, then give your project a name. I'm calling mine Flashing Heart. When you're done, click on the Create button. When your window opens, you'll see that on the right in your workspace, you have two blocks already, um, already present. Any code that you put in the start block runs when the micro bit starts up. Any code you put in the forever block will run once the on start block is finished. On the left side of the screen is a microbit simulator that will run your code. Below it are the controls that you can use to operate the simulator. To create the heart, go to Basic, select Show Icon, drag it out, and place it in the On Start block. You'll see a heart appear on your screen uh, in, the, in the simulator. Uh, the block has a lot of other icons in it that you could use for other applications. Um, I'm going to go ahead and restart this, or stop it and restart it, so you can see that the heart appears when you restart it. If you want to download this to a real microbit, make sure that you have your microbit plugged into the USB port on your computer. To download it, just click Download. On a Windows machine, you should see the microbit appear in a file window, and if it's not selected, select it. Then click Save and your microbit should start flashing at that point. As soon as it's done flashing, the download will be complete. And at that point, you, can, you should see the heart on, on the screen of your microbit. And you can also then go ahead and close this screen on your computer, and you're done. To download on a Chromebook or a Mac OS, you will need to download the code to your computer, then transfer it to the microbit. The next step is to make the heart flash on and off. To do this, go to Basic and select Clear Screen. Drag that out underneath the show icon and your virtual micro bit should flash on and off. You can press the play or restart button to make it run again. The next thing we'll do is make the heart flash on and off forever. We'll do this by moving our code over to the forever block. If you grab hold of the top block, it'll take all the blocks below it as well. Once you have it in the forever block, you'll see that the heart flashes off really quickly. I'd like to slow it down a little bit though, so to do this, I'll add a pause to keep the next block from executing. Go to basic, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see the pause block. The units are in milliseconds and it defaults to 100 milliseconds. I'm going to duplicate this and then move it under the clear block. You can also just drag another pause out of the basic group. Now it'll flash on and off at a steady 100 millisecond rate. You can change the length of the pause by clicking on the down arrow and setting a different time. I am just selecting 500 milliseconds, but you can also manually type in something as well. Next, we're going to add a loop to set the number of times the heart flashes. To do this, click on loops and pull out the repeat four times block. Drag that into the start block and then change the four to a five. Then grab your show icon block and drag the entire set over to the repeat block. When it starts up, it will flash on and off five times. The final thing we're going to do in this example is use an event to trigger the flashing heart. The event we're going to use is pressing one of the input buttons. The micro bit has two input buttons, the A button and the B button. Then what we're going to do is use the A button. So go ahead and go to input and drag out the on button A press, pressed block. And then you can see that this also has an option to press B or to use A plus B, and we're just going to stick with A. 
Next, you want to grab, grab your top block, which in this case is the repeat five times, and drag the whole thing into the on button A pressed. Now, the block, uh, the code won't actually do anything until you press the A button, so go press the A button, and you can see the heart will start flashing. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back here.